Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to do a little walkthrough of August in my Hobonichi Weeks. As you may recall, I mentioned that I was going to be using my Hobonichi Weeks exclusively for the month of August. So I thought I'd show you how that went and talk a little bit about what I'm gonna be doing for September for the rest of the year, what my thoughts are around the Hobonichis for 2022. Am I gonna order one? And if so, what am I gonna order? And all of that stuff. So let's get started and thanks for watching. So to start with, you may notice I have a new cover. This is a Gilio. it's new to me, it's not brand new. I don't think I've ever had a brand new Gilio, but this one is one that I found and I absolutely love it. It's in the yellow color um and so i'm really really pleased with it and very excited to have it this is my august month at a glance and you may remember from my conversations about my planners before but i only use the monthlies for long range forward planning so um not a whole lot here other than just highlighting things that were coming up as i was pre-planning uh, in the last few months so let me flip back here to the weekly view and show you what's uh, in here. So this was the end of July and these beautiful purples and yellows that were the month of July. And then here is the 1st of August. This week was pretty bare because I had some oral surgery and my mom was visiting and I just didn't do a lot of planning that week. Um, here is the first full week of August. And I uh, tried really hard to embrace the peach theme that Coco Daisy had, but I don't know whether it was the color orangey peachy color that I chose in the marker to highlight or whether it was just peach in general. I've never been a fan of peach, um, but it, it was hard for me. I had a sleep tracker down here that I abandoned after a couple weeks. It just really didn't work for me. I'll show you what I was doing in the back. Had a tracker down here again didn't do this other than this one week because it just really um, when I show you what I did in the back I like that much better so tracking my to-dos weather meals appointments what I was reading what we were watching and what meals I was planning to cook I went into um, a completely different color scheme because after this week with the peach I was just over it after one week and so I pulled out some old washi that's Erin Condren washi resurrected some stickers from an old um, Coco Daisy kit and went with a purple theme to kind of counteract all the orange and peach in the previous week. Same type of thing. I did not bother tracking weather. I go kind of back and forth on that. I don't ever use it or refer to it again. It's fun to do at the time, but I don't see a whole lot of value in it. So I tend to not bother most of the time. Um, I did try a little stamping. That was something that was just when I was playing around one day. Don't think I'll do that again either. Um, and then this was the next week, again, trying to use my Coco Daisy stuff, but in a way that I wasn't overwhealmed with peach. So I decided to go with this tealy green that was in the little trucks and find some complimentary stickers and washi tape to go with that. So again, to-dos, notes over here, reading, watching, what meals we had, the trackers I moved to the back. And then over here was doing meals and weather and then just tracking uh, activities that we had going on for the week. This was last week and I pulled out my stash of old Coco Daisy stickers. I'm trying really hard to use what I have and use it up. And so this was uh, a bunch of washi and stickers from some old kits. And so I just made use of that. So I was really enjoying this kind of green teal theme. And so I pulled out another washi that I really liked put my meals on a post-it note because I like that better. That's what I had been doing in the rings and I liked it, so I just incorporated it here. And then this is next week, so this is September, uh, the 30th and 31st of August and moving into September. So I'm you know, moving on away from the peach and into the next month's Cocoa Daisy stuff. So back here, looking at the monthlies for August, so I started out here with just my running to-dos at the beginning of the month. And um, then here, this was more running to-dos. This was YouTube um, that I was watching uh, a YouTube video and taking some notes on. Here's my trackers. 
And this is why I didn't bother with the trackers at the weekly uh, level because I really, really like this SM Plans tracker and how I've been using it. And so I've got my medicine and self-care stuff here, and then I'm tracking the hours of sleep, and that was this black line. And then I started out doing the mood in the blue line, and then I decided it'd be more fun to color code it, kind of like my life in pixels. So I did that, which I really liked being able to just look really quickly at the colors and see where I was at. And then these are my pets and their medicine. Then this is another sleep tracker that I downloaded um, off of Etsy and I really liked it. One of the things that helped me to see for this month is that I'm staying up way too late and sleeping too late and I need to get myself back on track in terms of going to sleep about between 10 and 11 and getting up around seven. I don't know that I'll continue to do this next month. Um, it was helpful, but since I'm tracking sleep over here, I don't, I don't know yet. I may do it one more month until I kind of get my sleep cycle back into where it needs to be because it did help me see that. Just looking over here and seeing, yeah, I got eight hours. It doesn't really tell me that I got eight hours because I went to bed at midnight and I got up at 8 a.m. So this, this is helping me see that. So we'll see, I haven't decided yet. Um, this is where I had my August to-do list and planned meals for the month. Um, same thing I do in any planner. This, this is not any different regardless of the, the, the book it's in or the binder it's in. The system is the same. Here's more of my running dailies. And um, this was where I was just my, making some notes. So I was thinking about what I was going to do for the Hobonichi order for next year. And you'll see here that I made a note. I started out thinking, well, maybe I'll get an A6 of VEC and a weekly supplement. And I could use that because I like the A6 size. And then I was like, no, really, seriously, the only thing you ever use consistently throughout the year is the weeks. So all I'm going to get is a week's. Um, and I made myself a note so I would hold myself accountable, save my money, only get another week's. I'm planning to get another mega, um, just because I like having all of the extra pages and not feeling like I have to hoard pages. Um, so that's what I'm planning to do for next year, but there are some pretty covers that are not in the mega, so I may change my mind. I'm still not 100%, and I'm not in a rush. I have plenty of time to order for next year, and there's no sense in ordering on September 1st being a part of the rush and then sitting on my shelf until December before I pull it out to use it anyway. This is just a list of wines. My husband and I are having fun experimenting and trying different wines. So I've been making um, some notes on different ones, more of my dailies notes and things like that. And then this is this weekend and then getting into September. So the September dailies would continue. So I've got my menu plan for the month of August, things I want to cook goals slash to do's for the month, excuse me, for the month of September, goals slash to do's for the month of September, my tracker, same thing. And again, I'm trying to use my stash. So you see, I even look, put stickers up here with the letters because that came in the, the kit. So I'm trying to use things up. So what am I going to do for September? I've got this set up. And as I was setting this up yesterday, I was like, you know, one of the things that I'm realizing is that I like to do this book in retrospect. I love being in the weeks, but what I don't like is planning ahead in the weeks because I think it has to do with the small grid size and the narrowness of the book, but I feel cramped when I'm trying to plan ahead and I always feel like I've got to squeeze everything in. So what I decided, dun dun, dun are you surprised? Probably not really. <laughs> Guess who's back? Um, I'm going to go back into my rings. So this will continue to be used as a retrospective capture history. I'll have everything all in one book for the year at the end of the year. And I have um, weeks, Hobonichi weeks from 2016 to now. So I really don't want to stop using them moving forward. I really like that. So I'll continue to do that. But I'm going to make a, a conscious decision that my intention is to use that as a as a memory keeper, capture um, history and things like that. And this will be what gets archived. The weeks will get archived. And that also absolves me from trying to figure out how to archive um, all my ring pages, which tend to be very bulky and take up a lot of space. I mean, some months my rings 
or that thick the archive for the year so that's probably what I'll do um, definitely what I'm going to do for the rest of this year so we'll keep this in the beautiful cover that I have and then we will move into this and this will be my forward planning and basically my workhorse that will have everything as I'm thinking through stuff planning through stuff tracking you know what to get at the store what meals I want to cook doctor's appointments things to do all that kind of stuff so set up for September I moved back into my black Vanderspeck just because I felt like the doodles and dashes colors for um, September from the Cocoa Daisy kit went really well with the black I was thinking about using my Gilio which is a dark brown but knowing what's coming with Coco Daisy for October, I decided to wait and use it then. And I'm gonna use this. And quite honestly, of the three A6 binders I have, this black Vanderspeck is my favorite. Um, I tend to go back to it over and over and over again. So anyway, here's what I have going on for September. So as usual, the front section is kind of my landing page or landing pad where everything goes. So shopping lists are here um grocery lists things to do and then i have a note section with just some more note paper and sticky notes um so that i can just literally flip it open and my kids know these pages are safe to write on nothing else is safe to write on but they know that they can make a note here and i'll pick it up from here so this is kind of like my inbox um then moving into the months so here is august where i was set it up months ago here's september um, and I just minimally decorate my monthly, so just a little bit of the washi and a little sticker, just very minimal um, in terms of the months. So then here is the September. So I always use some removable tape and a removable adhesive, and I stick some of the note paper on this dashboard so I have a place to scribble quick notes. And here's my uh, meal plan, menu plan for the month. So I can look at that and decide what I might wanna cook for the month. Here is the dashboard. So I do get the Cocoa Daisy dashboards. This is the personal dashboard and it's too skinny. Let me, I think I already took the one for August out. Yes, I did, but it's too skinny. By about the width of the washi tape, it's too skinny. So what I did, and I don't know let me open this the right way before somebody's screaming as they're watching the video going no don't pull the rings um i took a piece of uh packing cardboard just some real thin packaging cardboard and i sandwiched it between these two dashboards and um you, i don't know if you can even see there where it is but i sandwiched it in there and then i covered it with washi and i punched it so then i get the eight uh the a6 width of the uh, dashboard and can use it to mark where September starts. So you, you do have to trim a little bit off the top and bottom or the either, the either both to have the image centered or all off the top. So like this one, I trimmed top and bottom. This one, because it was just white at the top, I just trimmed the top and didn't bother trimming the bottom. But I like having that to kind of start my month. So here is September. You'll notice that I use the washi on uh, certain pages on the edges. So I have it on my trackers. As I said, I hadn't decided yet if I'm gonna use this, but I had an extra one printed out. So I just went ahead and stuck it in here for September. Here's my other tracker and um, it's ready to go with my sleep and mood on one side. And then the other side has my self care and pet care. Um, this is my list of things to do. It said goals in the other one it says to do here. That's just because I was trying to use up stickers. And then we dump right into, guess what? The DIY fish pages because these work. Now, one thing I wanted to mention, which I probably have mentioned before, but I just wanted to mention here, you know, I, I don't have a problem jumping between these two planners, partly because if you look, the planners are laid out the same. So the way I use them is pretty much the same. So I've got my meals here, my appointments here, my to-dos here, same thing. Um, so moving from one to the other is fairly seamless. The system is the same. The only difference is how I'm, how I'm housing the system or what mechanism I'm using. But the way I plan has not changed 
from when I was in the weeks for August to when I was in the rings for July and when I go back into the rings for September. So it, it doesn't upset my system. It doesn't upset my planning to be moving back and forth between the two. I think sometimes we're too hard on ourselves about trying to be in one planner and we guilt ourselves if we move from one to the other. But I, I have tried really hard to let go of that personally because I feel like my system is the same. My system is consistent. I know what works for me in planning. I have used this system for years now. I dabble in different mechanisms, for lack of a better word, but I'm still using the same system. So anyway, off my soapbox. So what you'll see here is that I have the weekly pages um, washi and as I've said before that helps me quickly flip to a week because I can see where they are I have thought about tabbing them but to me that would just be a lot of clutter so this is a minimalist way for me to find you know a week and I can flip there and go is that the week of the 21st no it's not so it's the next one and I can go right there really quickly and it makes it easy I do not plan the weekly pages for the whole month ahead of time. I only do week to week. So everything is in my monthly view back here and I put everything in here for the whole month and then on Saturday or Sunday I will plan out the week migrating any tasks from the previous week, making any notes, things like that. Um, but the rest of these are in here but they'll stay blank until I get to that week. I use my dailies like a bullet journal style thing. So I'll show you back here where I've been planning this weekend, maybe, if I didn't take it out. Oh yeah, here's Saturday, I took everything else out. So, you know, it's just literally like, like what I had in my weeks in terms of the dailies. It's just a, it's just a bullet journal style list of things. It's just in the DIY fish versus in the week's pages. Um, and nothing in the back has changed back here except for um, I, I skinnied this down a little bit because I felt like she was getting a little chunky. So I took out some extra pages and stuff just to give me a little bit more breathing room. So net net, this is my planner. This is my journal slash memory keeper. And these are going to be what I continue to use. Um, no apologies. I'll be using both. <laughs> Not that I expect any of you to yell at me or have an opinion that would be to the contrary, but um, fortunately, nobody in my house cares either, so I don't have to make apologies to anybody. I do um, hope that you guys have um, had a good month of August. I apologize for the lack of other videos, but to be honest with you, um, I was just, you know, chugging along using this and didn't really have a whole lot to say. So I didn't want to make a video just to make a video. Um, I did record a couple and after I watched them, I thought I, you really aren't saying anything of any value. And so I deleted them from my phone, um, cause I don't want to waste your time or mine. I do have some thoughts about what I might record for some other videos in September. Um, and I would love to hear any questions you may have about my planning system or thoughts that you may have around it. I'd also love to know if any of you are ordering a Hobonichi for 2022. What are your plans? Are you going to be buying anything? Have you used one before? Um, or are you one of the people who bought one, didn't really use it, and now you've decided to move on to something else? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you again for watching. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day and a wonderful September. For those of you that are in the States, have a great Labor Day weekend coming up, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.